stars are brightly shining, it is the night of our dear Saviour's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Welcome to this online service for the hospitals in Leeds. We celebrate Christmas together, but we do so in the midst of the real world in which we live, with all its pressures and all of that. But let's take this time to recall what Christmas is all about. You're very welcome. The prophecy of the Messiah's birth. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. That's what the prophet Isaiah wrote nearly 3,000 years ago. And he was writing to a people for whom everything was closing in. Life was becoming tough and ahead of them lay exile, the loss of everything familiar, everything that was going to speak to them of who they were, of what life and normality were all about, of who God is. Because surely if God is there, he's going to be looking after them and making everything okay. And they were going to discover that that isn't the case, that we are we live in a contingent world. We live in a finite mortal world in which things go wrong. Our cells mutate. We get cancer. We live and we die. And there is no fairness or rightness about it. It's simply the cost of being alive. Now, you know this better than I do. Uh, being in a hospital context, either as a, a patient or as uh, staff, in a hospital, or those visiting with family members. My wife at the moment is uh, partway through chemotherapy, so I'm very familiar with the cost, uh, not only to her uh, and to the family, but also to those who care for her. But this, you see, goes to the heart of Christmas. We romanticise it very easily, don't we? But, you know, the, the light only needs to shine where there is darkness. You have to have the darkness for the light to make a difference. So it's part of the deal. Now, the last couple of years have been rubbish. We've seen huge admiration for the NHS, and that needs to continue. It needs to be backed up with resource as well. But that admiration is because what we have seen in uh, not just doctors and nurses, but managers, administrators, 
and cleaners, porters, all who make the system work in hospitals and in our doctor's surgeries and our community health uh, system. What we've seen is people sacrificing themselves, going beyond what they're paid for in many cases, in order to serve their fellow human beings. And this needs not to be forgotten. When Isaiah wrote about people walking in darkness, he did so in, in a phrase that enables us to reflect on our own circumstances. We have walked through darkness. We continue to do so. We don't know what the future holds. But we do know that the light of the presence of God is there and draws us through the darkness and the darkness can't do a thing about it. In John's Gospel we read that the light has come into the world and the darkness could not extinguish it, has not extinguished it. The presence of God, the light of God, not just when everything is going well, but right here in Isaiah's terms where people are in exile. In our circumstances where we live with uncertainty, conscious of our mortality, maybe exhausted, maybe even depressed, we know the darkness and we don't shirk from it. But it is into this that God opted to come in the person of Jesus, committing himself to this uncertainty, to this contingency, to this mortality. It ends on a cross, but it doesn't because there's an empty tomb. My prayer for all of us is that as we celebrate Christmas, and many will be working through Christmas and will be exhausted by it, my prayer is that even if we can't grasp it, that the light of the presence of God, that hope will grasp us. Because the Christmas story says that the light has come into the world and the darkness cannot overcome it, even death itself. It's in that spirit that I thank you for all that you do. And I pray that you will have a happy Christmas and that 2022 may be a year of blessing for you all. The Annunciation to Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greetings this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, 
and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be? Since I am a virgin, the angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son and it is the sixth month for her for who is said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee to Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. O morning stars together proclaim a holy Sing to God the King and peace to men on earth. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his head. No ear may is coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us we out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great at tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord in The birth of Jesus. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger 
because there was no place for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. The shepherds and the angels. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in the bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, 
and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Thanks be to God. I'm Julian Hartley, Chief Executive here at Leeds Teaching Hospitals, and I'm in the chapel at St James's Hospital, which is particularly important at this time of year as we reflect on the year that we just had, another extraordinarily challenging one, where everyone has given their absolute best to care for our patients and our communities and one another. And it is at this time of year that we reflect and remember those colleagues that we've sadly lost during the year, those who have given their all in the course of their duties, those who've worked with us before, those who may have retired, but all of whom are united by the fact that they've served Leeds Teaching Hospitals and the NHS, and sadly are no longer with us. And we remember them as indeed will their families, friends, and close ones and we join them particularly as we approach Christmas in remembering all of those who are no longer with us during 2021.
in this season of Advent, as Christmas approaches, we await with longing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. With renewed devotion, we beseech his mercy that as he came into the world to bring good news to the poor and to heal the contrite of heart, so in our own age, he may bring salvation to all those in need. We pray for our global community, that in a world of pandemic and conflict, all peoples may recognise their responsibility for its future and may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember in our prayers all those affected by the coronavirus pandemic. We pray for those who will be without loved ones this Christmas and for those who seek to be a source of healing and comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember in our prayers those engaged in finding new treatments and vaccines, that they will be successful in their work and the fruits of their labours will be shared with those with limited access to health care and vaccines. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we travel on this earthly pilgrimage and look toward the new year, may your light shine in our hearts and may we see your glory born in our midst. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, who brings salvation to all and desires that no one should perish, hear the prayers of your people and grant that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and your people rejoice in this season of anticipation. Amen. We commend all whom we love, or who have asked for our prayers, to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father, and say together, as Christ himself taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your feet and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you, remain with you and all whom you love this Christmas and always. Amen. stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear saviour's birth long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its Joyces beyond 
Christ was born. 